hey guys so today I am here with a friend of mine very beautiful friend of mine <laughs> she is called Nicole hi <laughs> yeah so hi. we will talk about unspoken rules mm -hmm. in a relationship yeah. yes hi people my name is Nicole um, I, I, I don't know if there's any other thing I need to say about myself but if you have a question anything about <laughs> <laughs> if you want to ask me anything you can comment down below yeah. and I think we will I will answer it mm. the next video but I am Nicole that's that's the only thing you need to know for now as in always always say good morning and good night those are very important things when it comes to like rules uh, unspoken rules in a relationship like Unamka subui, you don't text your other, your your, your partner, eh. you don't text your partner say good morning, mm. and you want like everything to be okay. Mimi nisaka, by the way, I will just sit the whole day there. You could text good morning like Juzi, Jana, Izo Skuzingina Zote, and like but you know, that's not a good I'm not encouraging that, that. she's not a good practice yes I'm not encouraging mm -hmm. that but if you think you're doing too much of the talking but it's not good but I always try but if if you're in a relationship I think it should be a two way thing mm -hmm. so if I qua only one person is doing yes, the talking yes, like every day in a fight way I do it today you do it tomorrow mm -hmm. as in equal to in your system or something yes yeah. Yeah, as in it's something that we shouldn't even sit down to talk about it yeah like mm. at the at the oh, baby we're sitting down to talk about you telling me good morning mm. or you telling me good that is something that it should be always at the back of your head Nikki Amka, i should text this person good morning i'm up then you do your own stuff okay maybe good morning so how uh, how are you planning to need this day or something mm. of this sort. Yeah. 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 And two. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> Men should always pay for the first date. <laughs> like, like, okay. <laughs> but I was reading somewhere mm -hmm. that, not even reading, listening to, a, was it a YouTuber? But, yeah, I think it was a YouTuber or something. Mm -hmm. I was listening to them and they were saying, if you're the one who invited the other person for a date, mm -hmm. you are yani, you you are the one who knows that Mimi, I, I have I have texted Idaya and I've told her, eh, can we meet her for a date at this and this place? Mm -hmm. I know I'm the one who will get her for the bills. I won't wait for you to. We have finished eating and I'm looking at you. Yeah, it goes both ways. Like. Mm -hmm. If I invite a guy for mm -hmm. a date, mm -hmm. I know I like this guy and I tell him, by the way, I'm inviting you for a date. I should be the one paying. I should know how much you're going to spend, how we will spend it, where we are going. I will choose everything. Mm -hmm. And I should pay. According That's, to your pocket. Yeah, according yeah. to your so, pocket. Usi mpeleke asi wapi ken piski na ukona pesa ya KFC. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Of chonga hey, uh, no, it's not even uh, nice. That you expect he, he, he had to share the cost. No. I mean, no. Like he, he has invited you out and mm. that is something you shouldn't even talk about. Mm. If I invite you for a date, I'm the one paying. If mm. he invites you for a date, he's the one paying. It's just like that. I update you your other partner. Of your whereabouts uh, in the middle of the day, whatever you're going to not see killer sati baby, you may talk about your number, you go to matatu nenda, you may fika, you may need it's not like that. As in, you've already, yes, you've already talked in the morning, hi, uh, morning, morning, you slept mm -hmm. fine, and whatever, but then only the uh, like if you go for like two hours without talking, or maybe you, uh, you have your tea break at work mm -hmm. or you have your lunch time break just call the other person and let them know had my lunch break and i will be very busy in the course of the day so kutakuwa hivi na hivi so i won't talk to you yeah. back at this time you just know mm. uh, i am busy so that they don't catch mm. feelings mm. and the ladies catch feelings first because of that yeah like, hey. You find 
find a guy has not texted you for a whole day. Then Gianni he comes with an excuse. I was busy at work. <laughs> you are busy, busy at you are you? Two minutes to just call me and tell me. It won't even take you five shillings. Yeah. It and it won't take you more than three minutes or two minutes. Just call me and tell me, hey babe, I am busy today. I won't talk to you. Like Maybe I will call you later on, but I won't talk to you until this time. I will be very busy at work. Mm. Ivo, and you're done. No but then we're very understanding. If you call us, we'd understand. Very. But if you go quiet, hmm, that's the worst the thing. That is, that is mm. the communicate. Any in short, communication mm. is key. Yeah. Probably be friends before you get into yeah, and that will jump into the relationship. That will lead to a good communication yeah. skill and you won't have a problem when you're in when you're in a relationship. Yes. Exactly. Next point. <laughs> Never threaten or give ultimatums. Mm. <laughs> this is where <laughs> so you you maybe you're quarreling, you're arguing uh-huh. and then you're like, I so if you don't do this, mm-hmm. we are over, we are done. And if you don't pay for my hair, we are so done. No, don't do that. That is so that is ghetto. So wrong. That's so wrong. It's, uh, don't do that. It's so ghetto. Yeah, it's so ghetto, guys. <laughs> don't do that. Uh, yeah, just understand the other person. Like, Why are you even giving us emotions that as you, as you, if you don't do this, I'm going to I'm do going to do this. If you don't do this, I'm, no, just me. If you tell me like that, I'm going to be a fan <laughs> do do whatever you want. Yeah. Enjoy and your relationship if you can. If you give ultimatums, the other person will start doubting you because it'd be like, I will you kwani siko shua na eh? Is she backing out or something? Ladies, it's not good. <laughs> it's not good. I have done that before, baby. I have done that. <laughs> so I've learned it is really bad. Men, I think men hate that. I don't know. Boys, men, yeah. I don't know, hate that. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. So don't do that. But it's water. It's Ooh. just water. It's nothing else. Water. Yeah. Hydrate. Yeah, hydrate. Make sure you hydrate. <laughs> next point. Oh, oh. I, I'm the one who's given mm-hmm. the next point. Never forget anniversaries and birthdays. <sighs> Never. That is. <laughs> that is like. Uh, we are not even on the same page. Like, you're not dating me or I'm not dating you. Ah, anniversaries and birthdays. See how I'm quiet. <laughs> I'm guilty. <laughs> I'm so guilty of this. What? I don't even remember anniversaries. What? No. Like, uh, what? Anniversary? No. <laughs> Let's wed. Let's get a wedding date. That, then that, I'll that, remember that remember. But I, dating, I don't know. But I, I think most of the, most of the, not. Not most, let me just not say most, like 50-50% of people mm-hmm. um, tend to not like have this um, mindset of anniversaries and things like that. Because yeah. you find maybe we started dating two years ago at mm-hmm. this uh, on this month mm-hmm. and we just started dating and we just started. We, we, uh, there is no specific we, day. Yeah. Yeah, not there's no there's a specific there's day, a specific yes. day. Oh. there's a specific okay. day yes but you you won't take it so seriously, seriously. Like, but what what of this relationship that that just that you were friends mm-hmm. and then you didn't co- you didn't say it out loud mm-hmm. but now you're dating you just found yourself in a relationship <laughs> no, so yeah. you don't have any specific date no day. i think maybe you can celebrate uh, celebrate a month <laughs> Whatever anniversary, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If if that is more sensible. If like you 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 like want to be you want to have these anniversaries and things like that, and you mm. don't have in your uh, you don't have in your relationship as per now, you can sit down and talk and try to remember when did we like start dating mm. or things like that. Then you will see Atakama. It's it's just a a ka shady reminder. Yeah. Maybe it was this month, but you're arguing between this month and this month. You settle on one month, and you see that month on this date we are suppo- we will have our anniversary, and from that day onwards you won't forget. You won't forget. Ah, okay. 
I will yeah. try. <laughs> I have learned. Ah, yes. Okay. Then, uh, what happened in the past stays in the past. Mm -hmm. This is very important. Mm -hmm. Don't start telling. Whether I hate it when we're in a relationship and then you're comparing me to your, <clears throat> to uh, your ex. Yeah, it's not even good. Like we're not the same people. Mm -hmm. We're not the same person. Yeah, you I should can't understand be, that and respect. Yeah, I can't. I can't react to situations the way she used to react. Yeah, true. I can't. I don't know. I can't treat you the way she used to mm -hmm, treat you. Mm -hmm. I'll have my own what, rules. Yeah. My own priorities. I can't put you as my first priority every time. Mm -hmm. At times, I have to put myself first. So if your ex, ex did used to do that, mm -hmm. I will not do that. Yeah. Also, um, at my past stories, I don't know, my past boyfriends, so when you are, we are arguing, you start saying, that is, why, that is why, that is why your so and so left yeah. you. That hey. is, whether it's not good, don't remind people. You can trigger bad memories. You could die. Yeah, you could die exactly, in there. Exactly. Shock. That is uh, one rule that is always unspoken of. Like, yeah. you should never bring your past to your present mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in your relationship. You should never... Like, you know, people have bad relationships in the past, but mm. you don't need to remind them that they did this or did. Like, if you had an argument, as a kamani between you, yes, if you had an argument about something, Kitambo, don't pile up and pile up. And it's when you have another argument, you're like, that, 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 but don't remind the other person of what they did wrong. And you have to respect the fact that, yes, they did they did the wrong thing, yes, but they don't want to be reminded about. Mm. Yeah, complain and argue about the thing that is stressing you at the moment. Mm -hmm. You should all be like Jesus or God. He <laughs> forgives and yeah, forgets. Yeah, you forgive and forget. Ah. Limit your compliments to other people. Hey, hey. Limit, limit your compliments yes. to other people. Limits. Limit your compliments. Yes. Hey. Like, I, you're like, I come with my boyfriend, then it's Hedaya. <laughs> there. Then Hedaya starts, uh, uh, the, my boyfriend starts telling Hedaya, oh my God, you have... You, you have a very nice body. You have a ah. very nice smile. I ah. like the way... That is something that a lady or a guy is going to be jealous about, but mm. they won't tell you. You should not like. You should not like compliment another person so much when you have mm. your person around. At a mm. if you're not around them, you should limit. Like you can say in a nice way that it it will be respectful to respectable to your relationship and to the other person's relationship. Mm. But, Girls do it when they're angry at yeah. their yes. man. Yes. Yeah. So when you're angry, you, you're walking with a man or mm. you're someone, and then you're like, guy, that guy. Hey, wow. A guy has hey, hey, those guy. abs. What? Don't. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. huh. oh, this one you've talked about. Oh, don't let others come between you. Like your friends, your mm. family. Okay, at mm. times when they come between you two, it's for the best. I don't know. Maybe they've seen something bad mm. and they're trying to help you. But most times, especially friends, in a co okay, sorry. friends, most of the times, it's just jealousy, jealousy and I don't know, anger, <laughs> envy, yeah, they just have something. An issue with they just have an and issue, it. and they'll do anything to break you up. So don't let them come between you two. Unless yeah. it's a toxic relationship, so if it is, let them come in. Let them come. Let them come. Yeah. So uh, as in you, you are just you. When you're starting the, the relationship, you're not you with your friends. Yeah, your, it is you your and family you. or your. It wasn't. It wasn't. Maybe. It was just you and the other person. Yeah. Yes, you can seek approval from your friends or your family, but that's that. That is the least thing that you should come to think about when you are with him yeah. and and you find out that uh, that's how you will lose a very important person mm. when because of friends mm, because of friends maybe they even something mm. that is a lie and they false. were lying at yeah. that time what we're saying is 
don't let other people define your relationship mm. for you. Mm. But then again, when you hear about one thing so many so times, many times yeah. talk to the other person. Yeah. If they're not willing to change, walk away. Yeah. If they are willing to change and they'll change, stay with your person. Yeah. Stay with your person. Family and friends may give you opinions about this guy, mm. but it's you to decide. Yeah. But if you're seeing it's the same thing over and over and over again, it's not worth it. Protect your mental health. Protect your mental health. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Support each other's dreams. It's a very, it's a very. Support each other's dreams. Like, if this person has a dream of, I don't know, opening up a big company, but you are there, you're just a downer. So you're, you're there, like, ah. We don't have the, enough finance, we don't have the resources. No, if he tells you, I want to do this and this, tell him, okay, what are your plans? Let's see what we can do together. I will support you through and through. As in, we see, don't, don't dampen. <laughs> don't, don't make it seem like you're not with him, you're not, you're not thinking the same way he's thinking. Because if you're in a relationship, I'm sure if someone comes and tells you, there this is what i want to do it means that person is serious enough mm -hmm. and he wants you to be included in what he's and doing so he wants you to support him mm -hmm. he, or give him I, advices I, I don't know yeah but don't 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 do that don't pour water on their dreams don't, don't support, them. Yes, support your people yeah, support them. it doesn't take you a lot of a lot of energy or it takes uh, take something from you to actually say you're actually thinking really well what mm. can we do mm. how can i help mm. how can i be of help like if you have if you have um like resources that he doesn't have help him mm. or help her do her own thing like yes. support each other that's how you build like something strong yeah let them know that they have someone who is willing to like Put, work with them yeah work with them and mm. put everything aside mm. just to make sure they are they have that same energy to continue with what they're mm. doing yeah yes be their rock be his rock yeah <laughs> uh, put little thoughts in your gifts gifts yes oh. gifts are very nice we love gifts. Women love gifts. Women love, but oh, men, men also. Love, love men gifts. also love yeah. gifts. Like, but we love them more. If I know that he died, it's also in friendship. If mm. you're in, uh, if you're in a friendship relationship, if you're in like a dating relationship, mm. put some thought into your gift. Mm. Like if I know he died, said um, they're not into scarves that much mm. or anything. Uh, they're not into jewelry. I will look for something else that they like, mm. so that I can gift. I can gift her. Mm. But I can't just. As she said she like a year ago. She said she doesn't like scarves, and I remember she said that. But I bring her a scarf. <laughs> or if that is being inconsiderate. Yes, put yeah. some thought into it. Like mm. if if my boyfriend doesn't like wearing maybe. Maybe sneakers. He just likes official mm -hmm. shoes. Yeah. I would go on sneakers. buying him like sneakers, Jordans. Mm. Nini, nini. I want. I will buy him an official shoe that he likes. Mm. Like put some thought into your gifting. Another thing. Be straightforward. Be straightforward. Say what you want to say. Yes. Don't go around beating about the bush. Because uh -huh. you'll never get anything done when you're beating around the bush. Just go and tell this person. Um, I didn't like what you did yesterday. I would like you to correct on that. I would like you to do this and this and this and this because what you did hurt me. Mm -hmm. So just tell them it hurt you. Don't be, <clears throat> you know, ladies, we are so good at holding feelings in our hearts. Well, then we come and bust the then we bust <laughs> Once we just explode <laughs> yeah. like a bomb. Yeah. So don't do that. It, it is bad again for your health, it is bad for your skin. Um, just be straightforward. Tell him what you want. Tell him what you don't want, and life will be easy. You'll avoid a lot of arguments. So it takes us back to communication. Communication. What you're feeling. Yeah. Communicate. Like mm. you have the other person for you to realize that you can talk about things. Mm. That you can tell him things that you can't tell your parents or your other yeah. friends. Yeah. Communicate. Like don't. 
don't be around the bush about something. Mm. If you see something is if the other person you see the other person is doing some mwambi and nani I I don't like I don't, I like, don't like what it. you're doing mm. or what you've been doing I don't like mm-hmm. it. If they're doing something nice, tell them also. But if they're doing something wrong and you, you're just keeping quiet because no naenda hivi hivi unamkasirikia and they don't know what you're mad about. Mm. It's it's not good. It's really not good. Don't stress. Yeah, don't stress yourself. Let it all out. Yeah. Let it out. Yeah. Introduce them to your friends and family, but also respect their time. This comes when you you have been dating your partner for like five months and they have never met anyone. <laughs> like they don't even have a number that they should call when you're you're not available like even their friends you don't even know one of their friends or you just know one but you don't even know two or three or even hajawai like kupeleka like a hang out with unasikianga tu anasema babe nimeenda ku hang out na mabishe zangu aizi kuambia babe toende introduce them to your friends then if the right time comes introduce them to your family <laughs> don't hide them don't you know it's, them. it's one thing to keep your relationship a secret and it's the other thing to keep your relationship like private those are two different things mm. keeping your relationship private is people know you are dating mm. but they don't know your business yeah they don't know your business and that's healthy yeah. but keeping your relationship a secret is you don't introduce them to anyone when like, they ask you are you dating no, no I'm, I'm single i'm pretty, you're with that person over here yeah. no. but no i am this single. is my friend this is my friend we <laughs> met <laughs> and that's time you you have dated this guy dated this one is serious mm-hmm. don't insult or disrespect your partner's family. Yeah. Wow. No matter how much you hate them. <laughs> like don't go on talking at a, to me or any other person about my my if my if my like my sister is um is bad or doing things that are bad. I expect you to be mature enough and tell me your sister is doing this and this, this and this. But in a respectful way. Hey, never ask for something that you can't give in return. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Never <laughs> ask for something that you can't give in return. This uh, this is something that uh, it won't be talked about yes but like if I ask you for your time not time I ask you to change your schedule for me. And you ask me to change mine and I'm like no mine can't change. Mm. Ask for something you will give in return. It's it's not that hard to fix like the person you are interested in and the person you are in a relationship with. It's not hard to fix like two hours or three hours into your time. But mm. if they don't do the same for you, why do it for them? Why? At our takwa like I, if you can't give me two hours of your time, why should I always sacrifice like uh, break down my schedule and mm. do this and this? Because if you can't give me that, I I literally can't you should respect that. Mm. Yeah. Do unto someone what you want, what you want to, to do to yeah. you. Yeah. What you want done to you. <laughs> oh yeah, and the last thing mm-hmm. is respect your other person's personal things. <laughs> like I would tell you every time that you have to like if you're coming to my place or I'm, yeah if you're coming to my place i won't tell you every time that you need to take off your shoes at the door and i won't tell you it's something that you should know mm. you have to respect my house as i respect your house i've cleaned that house like najua the boyfriend is coming so ni meji like ni mefanya kazi ni ka clean nyumba i have done every Oh na kuja tu unaanza kuingia na viatu na respect your person's personal like personal things like my house is a very 
like it's a very personal thing to mm-hmm. me I just don't really? invite someone or because yeah. I, I know I know specific people to invite because Najua if if I don't think maybe if I don't think he die is not so to come to my place because she's very touchy and it's a kuja she ke kitu aribu I won't invite her but if yeah. I trust you enough for me to invite you at my place mm-hmm. respect my place have yeah. respect for my place and this goes on to like pers- like very personal things like like cologne yeah cologne theater theater cologne yeah cologne is yeah, you should respect me don't come to my house and then you're going to take my perfume and spray but i don't know maybe <laughs> you can let's fix you eh i don't <laughs> like it by the way don't like have your own carry your own <laughs> no, i don't like it no me me to me it's it's not that bad but don't come using my cologne <laughs> my Roland do say she can now work it qua Roland. Just you can use my perfume, my extra perfume that you can use like uh, kama if it's for men. No me kuja. Okay, uh, if I have if I have a place and I know you're my boyfriend, obviously kuna vitu zingine utakuwa umeleta mm-hmm. hapo like to like deodorants and stuff. Make sure you use yours. Yeah, yeah choose mine. Mm-hmm. If you have yours there, use your I beg you yours. Labda yako maybe imeisha or something. But shika tu vitu zangu zingine but don't touch me you know. All my toothbrush. There are some couples who share toothbrush. Ah. Have you ever had that? That thing pisses me off. Like how do you even <sighs> come and take my toothbrush and start brushing with it? Your, your, your menona pia mi na kuja naza kubrush na yo. These things you need to, you, you need to respect. Mm. Respect your other person. And respect their stuff. Kwanza food, na toiletry. Mm. The toiletry, food, food and toilet. Yes, food, food. and toilet. Food, F O O D. Food and toiletry. Ah, is yeah. it like that? Yeah, toiletries. <laughs> food Toilet. and toiletries. By toiletries, you don't mean tissues. You mean <laughs> we mean like um, perfumes, yeah. colognes, toothbrush. Brush. Yeah. yeah, respect that kind of thing. Respect your other person's things. Respect their houses. Respect their just respect their things. Cause our men like it when ladies respect their stuff. Mm. Like if you come and you respect me to a level that, as in it's it's a turn on for most guys. If I'm not, every guys tell me if I'm wrong. Yeah, tell is us. It, yeah, is it a turn on or a turn off when someone? Does is it a turn on that someone respects you think enough to ask them for to ask them to ask it to ask for them to ask yeah to ask for them ama is it like a turn off yeah. Yeah. I think that's that's it for today but uh, if you if you if you like you can comment down below things that you think uh, that are unspoken of in relationships that you things you think we haven't things we yeah. haven't talked about yeah, things we haven't talked yeah, about you can just comment mm. and yeah things that are unspoken about that you, you actually know at the back of your mind yeah and spoken rules yeah and spoken relationships. Rules of relationships you can tell tell us comment mm. and we will yeah we will go through them and see so thank you guys for watching <laughs>